everybody. Well, I've got a few things to talk about today. A few random bits and pieces. Oh, what? Son of a bitch! Let me see this. My speedo cable has snapped. I thought it was going the other day because I noticed I was going a speed which it said I was doing like 20 and I really wasn't doing 20. Of course, I don't know how fast I'm going now. Also, I'm doing what I call ghost miles. <laughs> On Betty, my uh, speedo cable snapped and it took me, what, probably two months to bother ordering one. So I had like two months of ghost miles that never appeared on the clock. Now there's a couple of things I'm going to update you on and tell you about. One of them is thanks to winning a little bit of money on a scratch card, about 90 quid, um, and a little bit of money I'd saved, I went and bought myself a Nexus 7, the new one. And I fucking love the thing. So I can reply to YouTube comments much easier than before. Still, you can only do it through the mobile site and not the app, which I do not understand. It's a fucking Google device. And if any Apple fanboys are out there saying, you should have got the iPad. No, I really shouldn't. More expensive, not as good. Picture quality is not as good. And it's also made by Apple. And Google and Apple are having, well, should we say, Google is just outlawing everything that Apple makes. So it doesn't work with their systems anymore. And when you're a YouTube partner, you just have to accept these things. I've not owned a tablet before, and it's great. I, mean, I suppose it is the same as having a phone, but just slightly larger. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm very impressed with it, and it's so fast, and I can just get so much stuff done really quickly. And no bullshit of my computer going, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to poke myself in the bum hole. This is about 40, right? I'm, I'm having to guess here. <laughs> Hello, officer. Do you know how fast you were going? No, nope, not a fucking clue! Ooh! What's this? Spicy 110 sticker? Never. <laughs> Just doing a very quick on the spot repair. My front uh, indicator went. And I was having trouble finding one of the bulbs. Now I had to come to Halfords, and I hate it because I don't like Halfords. But my local place didn't have any of these because these apparently are these are motorcycle specific. You know, no one else has them. Yes. Anyway, the uh, the stickers they're going to be available in different sizes, um, some different colours, and we're currently working on getting them done. It should only be a couple more weeks, I would have thought. Uh, but watch this space just to let you know they are coming. If you're interested in buying one, say so, just so we get an idea on numbers. Um, because the company I'm working with isn't some huge company. It's uh, a family-run business, family of bikers. You know, I thought that was much better to use a, a smaller company rather than go for one of these huge ones. Did it work? Did it work? Will the light flash slower now? Yes. Sweet. Got that sword. Rock. Yeah, of course, having that rock sticker on the bike means if it falls over, it won't get any damage. It's just that, it's, you know, it's, that, it's like a bubble of protection, just, just having rock around. <laughs> no, I don't work for rock. Yeah, so as I say, the stickers are going to be available quite soon. We're in the last stages of getting it all done. I'm working with, as I say, with a smaller company. Help out the little guy more than the big man. And they make some fucking awesome stickers. You might want them to make some for you as well. But I'll tell you all about that. When the stickers are available, I'll tell you who's making them, etc, etc. And while I'm on the subject of spicy shiznay, uh, I am still working on the t-shirts. Some people have suggested using that company, was it Redbubble? Um, but they seem a little bit expensive. Okay. <laughs> Should have paid more attention there, I just nearly drove down a fucking ditch. Oh my Jesse! Oh fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> These metal bars are a little bit slippery. Um, okay, if I go quickly at it, I should go straight to the top. Uh, yeah. I fancy some daisy stepping already. Huh, off! That'll whittle out the newer and older subscribers mentioning daisy stepping. It's a bit most of you don't even know what daisy stepping is. Look on Urban Dictionary, it's on there. Emmentile. Oh yeah, thanks for all your answers on my Q&A, you know, the one I asked you. Very, very funny. I think I might have to do that every now and then. You know, whenever I do a Q&A for you, I'm gonna give you one back because, you know, it's not fair that I have to answer all the questions. I got you a bunch of flowers, everyone. I hope you like them. You don't? Fuck you then. Here's Swan. Swan, 
Have some flowers. Flowers. I've never seen such a distrusting look from a swan. Yeah, so that's basically updated you on all the shizne I wanted to update you on. That's the sort of short-term stuff. Uh, Long-term, people ask me what I've got planned 2014. I don't really know. As I say, the meat, I want to get it done. I've got to do a little bit of sort of investigating to find out where I might do it. Um, and people say, oh, just do it, just do it. I, you know, I will. I'm hoping to, but I need to make sure that it's going to be right and safe and all those sorts of things. I realise that with growing numbers, there's an increased risk of someone coming off or getting hurt, and I really don't want that. I want to try and make it as, as legal and as safe for everyone as possible. Because I want everyone to go home safe and sound and have a nice day. I don't want anyone getting hurt. And I've said this to friends before now, and they said, well, it wouldn't be your fault if someone just had an accident. It could have happened any time. I'm like, yeah, I know, but it would be on my meat. And that's why I'm always like, please be careful on the meats. Um, things went a little bit, <laughs> a little bit wild last time up on the hill. Um, and I'll try and avoid that. I try, I've tried to avoid the police being involved. What should we park next to? The Derby 125. Was that guy noshing himself off? You see that? He was like grabbing onto his nuts as he was cycling. How weird. Hang on, no, noshing's not the right word. That's normally to do with mouths. Oh, you fucking idiot. Six foot six wide, you're allowed to be when you come down here. Max six foot six, you dick. Fucking fossilised coxical. Oh, I just noticed this place is up to let. <sighs> if only I had the money. See, what I could do is I could live in the flat above and in the shop, I could have like a, a biker calf. We'll have like some bikes for sale on one side, like, you know, all random shops these days. They've got some Ducatis in the window. Uh, we could have a little cafe. We could have, um, definitely have air conditioning in the summer and, you know, heating in the winter. Little parking outside the front to put your bike. Have some racks um, where you can like hang your gear up when it's been raining to dry it off. We could keep uh, some oil and some bulbs and stuff in stock, you know, just the stuff you need at a pinch. And always tricky to get because it's bike related. And I wouldn't be cooking, no, I'd have to employ someone else to do that. Having said that, you know, with the cafe where it's just bacon and eggs and sausages and, you know. Actually, no, I'd, I'd want to do some really nice food, like some, like, um, a nice sandwich. Here is an amazing sandwich. What you do is you get some nice chia batter bread, toast it slightly, you get some nice grilled chicken, then you get some grilled tomatoes that have been grilled with balsamic vinegar, a bit of lettuce, there's a bit of mayonnaise underneath, a little bit of barbecue sauce, and, and of course a bit of bacon, you can't have a sandwich without some bacon. That is a fucking manwich. We'll also have a big wall with some sharpies there and people can sign it. So I am a cook by trade, um, but it's not something I particularly enjoy doing. But if I like the people I'm cooking for, then I do enjoy it. So, you know, doing it for bikers who are freezing cold and they're coming, oh, I'm so hungry and cold. You just be like, sure, mate, let me cook you something. I'd enjoy that. It's because that's the people I cook for, I fucking hate. You can also have an energy drink on tap. I wouldn't make any fucking money, that's for sure. But it'd be fun. Oh, dear. Catch you next time. People always want me to do a QA. and a I never do it to you. So here's five questions I want you to answer. Number one, do you ride a bike? And if so, what do you ride?